question man to you. Be how everybody doing? Y'all welcome in. I finna get right into it for this uh the Amanda Seals Me Too situation with her with the club Shay Shay. Um Amanda Seals, um, black woman, uh, a lot of people don't like her. She one of the, like, <sighs> one of the most hated characters for whatever reasons. Uh, I don't got nothing against Amanda Seals. Shouts out to Amanda Seals, but allegedly a lot of people don't like her. Uh, she very unfilled to the uns and outspoken, such as myself. Uh, Sometimes that can lead to people not liking you, but I'm not saying that's the reason why people don't like Amanda Seals. I've been watching her, paying attention to her. I watched the Club Shay Shay interview she gave, which was three hours. And she now me too and Shannon Sharp and Club Shay Shay saying she felt like she didn't validate her truth on the show. And she said that the producers told her that that's what she was guaranteed to have. So, uh, we gonna, we gonna I will. <laughs> I will not. I did have regret because I felt like <sighs> I felt like I had made a big mistake in like sharing so much and and just being so um, kind of just my full unmasked like honest self there were some things cut out uh it was cut out when they cut out when he said to me it seems like you think that anytime someone doesn't agree with you that they're racist and i said well i mean it's too early in this conversation to say that and he said um no i said like what what in this conversation would make you feel that way and he said, uh, well, I feel that way because you just talked about autism being racism and you just talked about your teacher being racist. And so then I explained the, um, you know, the racism attached to autism diagnoses and why it's like so difficult for people to get clinical diagnoses uh, from like, you know, because it's like $10,000. And also because as a black woman, you're oftentimes um, misdiagnosed. And then, uh, they cut out where I said to him, like, didn't you leave your last job because of racism? And he was like, mm -hmm. no, I have not been clinically diagnosed by a doctor because I'm not paying $10,000 to do that. And most people will tell you that at this age, you don't need a clinical diagnosis. So let's check out this post that's still up right now on her times um misdiagnosed okay y'all i'm gonna leave it right there with the man seals um instagram this is how I, I i believe going live on ig um to basically uh stay her peace on why she felt like she was sort of violated y'all heard her say um it was things that she wanted to address where she wanted to be exposed while she was on Shannon Sharp platform that wasn't being addressed. So a lot of people feel like she don't have the right or, or how she gonna have the audacity to go on shake Shannon Sharp platform basically and use his platform to bring closure to her situation. And then in the aftermath, you come and complain. Me too, Shannon Sharp. Like, people looking at Amanda Seals, like, where they do that at? Like, so, people in comments, she letting the fans and people in the comments se section, like, ge geek her up. Like, listen, Amanda Seals knew what she was getting involved in when she went on Club Shay Shay. She knows Shannon Sharp is, for the most part, a sportscaster. Um... She's a more experienced, different type of journalist on a different scale than Shannon Sharp. I mean, it's Amanda Seals. I believe she's been around since the 90s. As far as, you know, her doing the media type of entertainment and 
you know, being a voice and a speaker. Shannon Sharp, you know, he, this club Shay Shay. And y'all right, he usually this platform for entertainers and celebrities. Amanda Seals is in like a different branch. But I mean, it is what it is. She's still from the entertainment realm. So it is what it is. But um, I don't get it. I just listen to her with everybody else. And I don't get um, why she feel like that would be enough reason for her to meet to Shannon Sharp and say that she was uncomfortable. Um, she also stated that she turned down a hug from Shannon Sharp which to me don't make no sense. It's like um they want to make they want to sort of, you know, make it about sexism. And it shouldn't be that type of uh that type of vibe. I believe, you know, Shannon Sharp is a, a good person. Um and his energy is very welcoming, whether you female or male. Um I don't see no um that vibe, that narrative that they want to play into with the whole Me Too movement. So from my recollect, my understanding, Me Too is uh, a woman being took advantage of sexually, physically, um, you know, being abused. Um, so I don't see where Shannon Sharp was in the wrong because they wanted him to basically step to her defense and kind of clarify what she was saying. How can he clarify her journey, her mission? She was saying she got autism. Shannon Sharp may don't know nothing about no autism. He may got a family member that got autism, so he could relate, so to speak, but he don't got autism to be in position to really speak up for it like Amanda was. So we're not taking up from Amanda speaking up on autism, and speaking up for the black woman and racism. Like, I, I actually commend her for that. I actually even commend her for her message as far as they're telling Shannon Sharp, like, then you get fired from allegedly ESPN for racism. Um, that's sort of fragile topic that maybe Shannon Sharp didn't want to address right there on the spot on his platform in the interview. So we can't knock Shannon Sharp for that. Um, Y'all yeah, just wanted to address this because it's been a, the talk for the last couple days and I really didn't want to talk about Amanda Seals because I feel like everybody and their mama was going to talk about that, but it is what it is. Shots out to Club Shay Shay. Shots out to Amanda Seals. And uh, I'll be back.